What is going on guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're talking about Forza Motorsport 7. So that game was just recently revealed um, at the Xbox presentation at E3. Um, and basically I'm going to be talking to you guys about that, uh, and what I know about it from other channels and or news sources or stuff like that. So, from what I know, the game is going to be featuring 700 plus cars. That's a Gran Turismo level of cars. And and if they do like they've always done them past for Forza's, excuse me, I'm stuttering a lot today. Um, it looks like we'll be having 700 detailed 100% cars in a video game at one time. That is a ton of cars. And that's really exciting on its own. It's definitely going to be one of my highlights of games this year. Um, but I feel like this year's going to be really tough for racing games. Not in a bad sense for any way, but I mean, it's going to be tough competition because there's going to be so many on the market this year. With Forza 7, GT Sport, New Speed Payback, Dirt 4 already being released. Um, I'm trying to think of any other ones I might be missing. The F1 Series installment, stuff like that. It's all going to be pretty tight competition for the racing game market this year. Um, the reason I bring up Forza 7 in particular though is because this is the most recently unveiled. Um, the New Speed Payback as well. Um, both games I'm looking forward to playing. Um, my dad's actually already given his seal of approval for Payback because it does has his dream. His it does have his dream car in it. Excuse me, I'm talking too fast for myself now. Um, which is a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, my dad's always wanted a '69. Uh, bug and they've got about that exact car in payback and I saw several videos from Black Panther, AR12, Forced, uh, or uh, Tomcat Gaming or yeah Tomcat doing all sorts of videos with the bug and it made me excited for New Street Payback because I'm a Beetle guy myself. Uh, I've always wanted to get a 75 because that's what my dad originally had. My dad had a 75 and I was a fan of the updated interior on the 75s. Uh, they were practically the same car but I just love the modernized interior a bit more. Um, so what are the games I'm looking forward to most this year? Definitely Forza 7, definitely Payback, and definitely GT Sport. Those are my top three games I'm looking forward to in the racing side of things. Now, of course, new Pokemon games, you guys already know those won't be featured on this channel. Don't worry about it. Um, quite frankly, this, game, this year's going to be good for games in general. Uh, all of my favorite franchises are coming out with games this year. It's really, really hectic. Just, just, just to... To my wallet in particular. <laughs> um, I'm burning a lot of money on video games this year, but let's go ahead and talk about some stuff that's going on right now outside of YouTube. Um, so, the first thing I want to bring up is still there's no lower truck video. Uh, this video is kind of a half and half week weekly update. I'll have a full weekly update out Friday because I'll probably be doing stuff this week that'll end up getting it into the weekly update. Um, so, explanation on the lower truck situation. So, uh, we were meant to get it lowered yesterday when I filmed this. Uh, it's eight. It's 9.35 at night when I'm filming this on Sunday. Um, you can ask Michael. He was here with it, too. Uh, he was actually helping more than I was. I was busy filming it. Um, slight dilemma was the U-bolts were too short and on the Beltec kit. So I'm going to get in contact with the shop I ordered them from tomorrow uh, or today for you guys. And I'm going to try to get that whole situation resolved. Um, whether it means I need to send back my old kit and then order an entirely new kit or um, something of that nature. Uh, it's definitely going to be hectic. I'm not looking forward to it because it's going to be a pain in the neck to get everything done a second time. Because what happened the first time is we cross-threaded the stock U-bolts pretty roughly. Um, it was a pain in the neck to get the axle to stop trying to roll over the place. Uh, the truck actually started rolling at one point. Um, when we jacked up the rear axle, the thing was like out of here. So we had to put ramps and stuff because we don't have wheel chocks for whatever reason. My dad's got misplaced, possibly even stolen, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, and the truck started moving on its own. It was just like, oh, I'm out. And that's because, of course, obviously it's a rear-wheel drive truck. The transmission and parking brake weren't in contact with the ground anymore. So, I mean, it's not like it could stop it anyway. Um, I had to do a lot of disassembling on the rear to get that stuff done. So it's coming. It's almost here. It's going to get done. <laughs> so the next thing I'm looking for looking forward to doing is possibly getting a new camera soon. Uh, I've been in the debation or in debating uh, buying a camera and I've got a couple things um, that have my attention. Um, currently my main focus is on getting the truck fixed because we may be doing something pretty crazy with it here soon. Uh, not, nothing setting stone just yet but I will tell you guys as I get along uh, down the road and we figure out if this is actually going to happen or not. Um, but getting the truck fixed, I gotta deal with the oil leak situation, I gotta deal with uh, the intake because the air filter on the truck is shot 
so it's definitely in need of being replaced. So this is the right time to do this intake. I'm gonna instead of doing my custom build system, uh, it's gonna cost me a lot more to do it that way. Um, I'm just gonna order a specially built in tape that I found that was on sale actually um, here soon whenever I get some money again. Um, I plan on ordering the intake, getting the valve cover gaskets and the oil and, and the engine paint in one shot. So everything's ready to go. Um, so once the intake gets here, everything's set on that truck. Um, that's really all I think about right now. Uh, I'm probably going to do a front license plate soon. Um, Besides that though, I think that's about everything I've got on the truck side of standpoints. But the camera I'm looking at is a Cybershot DSC W830. It's a pretty old camera. I believe it's a really basic kind of cheap camera. It films in 720p, and which is all right compared to the 1080-60 that my iPhone films in. Um, but it'll help me a lot in the long run being able to film more. Um, it's a pain in the neck to try to film on this thing all the time because I always have to you constantly delete videos and stuff off of it and delete apps in order to be able to film on it. So um, sooner or later, I'll be getting a new camera, probably start getting gear and stuff for it, like a slider or um, eventually my goal is to get a Ronin um, to help out with stability on the shots and stuff. And eventually just do more car reviews that are really high quality because the last couple I've did, they've been good, but the Porsche review had the phone constantly buzzing because it was uh, the car was vibrating pretty harshly. And in the Jeep review, I had to hold it because I didn't have a mount at the time. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I've got for this video, guys. So I'm looking forward to Forza Motorsport 7. I'll give you guys more information as information comes in. Uh, it's definitely going to be pretty exciting. See you guys then.